but she did come into us as an ungroomable doggy. So the reason why she was deemed un ungroomable is because she doesn't really like the clippers near her chest and head, but we have worked on that and she's doing very, very well. When we first did her, she was fine with clipping off the body, but not the legs either, but we've worked on that as well. Her owner likes her face a bit fuller. She does randomly fling her head a bit, so that's why you have to be very, very careful with her and scissors around the eyes and everything like that. We are not going to hide anything from you guys. We're going to show you how it is and how we cope with her and how we deal with her and make her feel better and more confident. Because she's not an unruminable dog. She's not. She's just a little bit nervous. She's got her own way to do things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and also her mama loves her eyelashes, so we don't even touch those. You want a treat? I don't think you have a good thing to treat, actually. You want to try? No? Right. I'm going to shave the pads out on my 30 blade. Our Arco's not working at the moment, so I'm going to be extra careful with this. I'm just going to take slow swoops into the pad. They're super short anyway, and I'm going to look for any grass seeds as well. And then while I'm at it, I'm going to do her nails. You see that I'm not holding her foot hard. I'm letting her kick away, but I'm just gripping on it so that she knows that I'm not going to let go. And then that's as far as I'm going to take it. I'm not going to push her too much. Just want it to be clear. Well done, what? <laughs> she was barking right in my face and licking me at the same time. Very intense. <laughs> you don't like to be groomed, you want to keep the time frames in between grooms quite narrow because the longer hair that they have, the more knotted they are, the more you're going to be spending time with them on the table. So you want it to be short and sweet so that they get comfortable and get used to it. So we are both going to start clipping and we've got our dark blue and a 10 and our clippers and we are going to start. I'm going to start by putting, always, I always put the clipper away when they're extremely nervous. She's been passed from groomer to groomer and now she's with us and we are willing to work with her and make her have a make her understand and help her to see that grooming doesn't have to be a stressful thing. It will take time, but yeah, we're we're happy to do it. Consistency. What are you doing? <laughs> oh yeah, a good tip, don't keep anything on the table when you've got a dog that's nervous because they will go flying. So perfect as I'm gonna get it. I don't wanna stress her out. We're having trouble with her front legs. She doesn't want to stick with them. Let's see. Give her a second to calm down. We'll try again, if not we'll scissor. Good girl. 
moment to shake it off, breathe it off, and then we'll get it back on the table. Alright, so I'm just jumping around the foot. Nice little round foot we are trying to achieve. Stand by with you. Oh, that's good Whenever you have a dog that does this uh, tap dancing, you can always just lift up the opposite leg, it will fall the other three legs down. Scissors always facing away from the doggy. Again, we want as nice a groom as possible in a quick time because of her anxiety. Mm. That's it, it's not like perfection, perfection. If there's hair sticking out and you can't get it, so be it. It's, uh, it's more about getting the job done and her being safe and as happy as she can be. The Egyptians used to believe. <laughs> groomers like myself if a dog like Maud was to come in to your salon your mobile grooming your home whatever don't be put off by saying no in terms of not being able to handle her on your own experience speaks louder than words within this industry the only way that I've been able to put like to actually do it is having Jade with the experience, show me how you can be calm and how to deal with the dog, with the client, with the whole process. But also, don't make it so that that is a, a reflection on you or how good you are at this job. It's hard and it can beat you down like if most dogs or some of the dogs that you've got just are ungroomable. But it doesn't mean that over time you'll learn and you'll progress and if that dog comes back and you're ready for it, you can try, you know? Yeah. But don't be put off by saying no at all because yeah. you can put the dog at risk, yourself at risk. Steady. And you don't want to deal with that. You yeah. work with, you know, sharp instruments. Oh no, the results are insane! <laughs> no, I'm not looking at oh it. I can't. I, I, I'm truly 100% at fail. Okay. Six weeks ago, I did my theory exam for my level three and the WhatsApp is saying that everyone is passing. I'm now gonna look at my email to see whether or not I passed. If I failed, then- She's um, fired. Yeah, I'm fired. <laughs> I passed! Yes! <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> oh, yay! I'd convinced myself for ages, I was, oh, bloody cushions, like heat stroke, like please tips, I was just like, it's all wrong, it's all wrong. <laughs> My um, belly. Uh, I'm now level two and three qualified. <laughs> Sissy guild. All right, so we are going to do a lilac flower as much as we can. Oh yeah, when I'm holding her beard hair, I'm not, uh, no skin, uh, just very, very light as well. Um, when she, like, if she was to flick her head, she'd get out. Because I'm not forcibly doing it. I don't want her to feel trapped, but obviously I want to feel her head. The more trapped that they feel, the more likely that they're going to pull away. So it's I'm like a puppy, it. isn't it? Yeah. They will not tolerate you touching their beard yeah. at all. You're okay, good girl. That's it. Can I do a bit more of your beard? Well, I haven't even started with this. Can I do a bit? Okay, okay, okay. Well done. Can I see? Alright, so it's a little. It is what it is. It is what it is.
Maud's mum is all outside and we're just doing the finishing touches. What I'd like to say also is communication with the client is key. The client is not expecting us to do like a pretty amazing groom on Maud. Yeah. It's more, like we said before, the reality versus expectations. Yeah. The expectations have been discussed, they have been met. There's no maths, there's no knots, there's nothing. We'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed, I hope maybe you learned. If you do have any suggestions that have worked for you with a nervous dog like that, we're happy to hear it, we're happy to take it on board. Write in the comments below. See you next time. Bye.